Hi everyone. One thing that a lot of people ask for, and it's a really neat feature that is often overlooked from Zoho, is integration with their Gmail and Zoho CRM. But more specifically, through the Zoho CRM extension for Gmail. So today what I'm going to go through is how to install that extension from Gmail, also how to use that extension to interact with your CRM, and then lastly, some of the pros and cons of it, because a lot of people ask for auto parsing and things of that nature. As always, please like and comment and subscribe. We love seeing the comments. We love responding to them. And if you want, my office hours is always open. There will be a link below talking about them. That's a time for you to meet me, chat with me. I do them multiple times a week. We can talk about this video or other videos. Hope you enjoy this video and we'll see you in it. All right, so let's get into this. I have a sample email here, a uh, sample email in my Gmail. And you can see on the right-hand side, there's extensions, right? So there's the classic Gmail, calendar, and notes, and all of that. Down here, you'll see a plus sign. So if you go ahead and click that, the first step to do is to find this extension. So you can type in Zoho CRM, and it's this one here. So you can see it's used by 150,000 people. You'll go ahead and click on it. You'll hit install. Currently, I already have it installed. And it'll basically make you sign in with your Gmail account. So it'll ask for your username and password. And when that's done, it'll be installed on the right hand side. So you can see this little chain link here, right? So now the next step to do is when you click on it, you'll actually see a page like this. And so you have a couple options to sign in. So the key point here is you're currently signed into your Gmail. Now it's asking you to sign into your Zoho. And so you have two ways to do that. You can actually log in with your Zoho username and password, or you can sign in with your Google. So if your Google is the exact same login as your Zoho, like if you have single sign on, go ahead and click the second option. If it's not, go ahead and click login. So when you hit login, it's gonna bring a pop-up like this. And now one of the things to keep in mind is you're gonna wanna be signed into your CRM in the same window. So you can see here, I'm already signed into the CRM and that's why it's popping up user one. So it already knows which Zoho CRM I'm in and it just goes through some of the permissioning and what it's going to do. So you can see here, Zoho is going to read your basic profile. It's going to create emails, manage metadata, upload files. So basically anything that you wanted to do from within email, it's asking for permission for. So I'm going to go ahead and hit accept. Once you hit accept, it takes a second and you'll see this loading, this little uh, rainbow wheel on the right end, right? And so now I'm going to go back here. So here's use case number one. So now you have it installed. Right? And so if you see that page, you're all good. Let's say I open up an email here. I can click this and you can keep this open at any point. Now, what you can actually do here is you can see, you can choose if you wanna create a lead or a contact. So for us, we don't actually have the lead module. If you do, it'll show lead or contact. You can hit proceed. Now it's gonna bring some of the information in from the email, right? So first name is Curio, last name is Intelligent Audio. So it's not perfect, right? But you can go through this and change this Curio test, for example. It'll auto parse the email for you and it'll try to get all the other things. So I use this all the time in my business where I'm auto parsing or not auto parsing, but I'm sending people into the CRM easily. So this really helps reduce the amount of double entry, right? And so I'll put the phone number here, just a random one. I'll put the lead source. So basically what you're doing here is you're looking into your CRM, into the contact or into the lead module and filling out information. So keep in mind, if you have mandatory things within the CRM, it's also going to make you fill them out here. It's just like creating a record in the CRM. So account name, you can do a quick search by clicking this. It'll bring up all your accounts. If I type test, if there is an account called test, it'll find it and then it'll list them all out. So there's one called testing. So I'll say, yeah, they work for testing. If there isn't an account, you can type it here and it'll create an account for you. So you go through all of this and now at this point you can hit add. And so if it successfully adds, it'll bring you to this page. And now every time you pull up this contact, so it'll bring up this page on the right hand side. And so you can do a few things here. One, you can hit this little button and that'll hyperlink you into the CRM to this contact. So that might be useful if you want to go into the CRM, but you can do a lot from within this extension. So number one, you can associate this email. And what this will do is it'll actually bring this email into the CRM under this contact. The second thing you can do down here, so you can update any of this information at any, any point by hitting the edit tab. You can also hit back, you can view this, you can go back and forth. The other piece you can do here is you can refresh it at any point, Right, and now I'm going to actually come out of this. Now let's pretend I'm in another contact or in the same contact and I wanna pull this up. Again, you can pull it up at any point. I can add a tag right in the CRM. So I can go test two or I can add a new tag, right? So any tag that you have in the CRM, you can add from here. You can at any point go back and you can always edit the contact information. So this extension allows you to do a ton in here. And so now at any point, if you wanna hop into this record and maybe add some notes or add a deal or add some tasks, you can go ahead and hit view 
in CRM and you'll see it'll hyperlink you into that record very quickly. And now you have more context, right? So you can write some notes. You can see the email that I just brought in is already here and it'll tell you it came from an external source. And so this is basically the essence of this integration. And I would say the big benefits of it are number one, reducing double entry. So you can add people from the CRM, update their information, change their information at any point. Two, you can actually add emails into the CRM by choosing which email to add. So you don't have to send them all in. And three, it just gives you some context when you're replying to someone, right? So you can see their phone number if you want to call them, or you can see their name or who the deal owner is, etc. I'd encourage you to install this application. You can get a ton of use out of it. Just as an FYI, this application also exists for Office 365, very similar, Zoho Mail, very similar, but Gmail is definitely one of the more popular ones. Again, please like, comment, and subscribe. We love it. And uh, feel free to join my office hours. See you there. Have a good one. Thank you.